Tom, uh, first of all, uh, nice to meet you. You too. I just rewatched season one like a month ago. Oh, nice. So I'm really excited to see what's what's coming on, on season two. And, and I think everyone is really excited. Can you please describe season two in three words? <laughs> um, green, not black. Okay, <laughs> perfect. How's that? I like it, I like it. And I, I would love if we can just forget that you're a, a great actor, that you are, <laughs> and uh, put you as a fan, as I am, and what team would you choose? I'd always choose green. And I'm not just saying that, I, I, I find them more interesting and I find them uh, more unpredictable, uh, naughtier. Mm -hmm. They don't adhere to any of the rules. Um, it's just more spice in your life if you choose green, I think. So yeah, green. That's right, it, it, because like Rhaenyra is like the, the queen that she should be, but like Team, team Green is like, um, oh, we're, we're yeah, gonna change it's, it. It's all, a bit, it's all a bit wrong, you know? And I, I, I'd, I'd wanna see that story unfold more, I think. Well, uh, talking about the, your character and your work, which has been incredible, uh, I always like to talk about the creative process behind uh, building this character. How has it been for you uh, different, or, or maybe on both seasons, but have you done something different on this uh, second season? I think the, the biggest difference really is that I've had longer to live with Egon this time. Mm -hmm. And in, in doing so, I've learned loads more about him and I feel like I know him a lot better. So, um, so yeah, my, 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 proce my, process, uh, my process constantly changes. Okay. It, it depends on what the scene is, what day it is, how I'm feeling that day, uh, what work I've done before. Um, with Egon, he's uh, he's just this gift that keeps on giving. He's uh, he's wild. He's unpredictable. He's dangerous. He's um, he's hilarious. He's uh, just electric. He's just a live wire. Um, and uh, yeah, I think the biggest thing that I've had to juggle with this time is just having the stamina to keep up with him, because he has a natural higher energy than I have. Oh, wow. uh, so it's sort of meeting him there. Uh, so yeah, it's been it's been great. It's been great, and it's been a challenge as well not to take it home with you as well because there's been a lot of stuff this season that's very heavy, very dark, and um, I sometimes allow it to sort of stick with me a little bit too long. So it's been it's been a good challenge actually to uh, to turn up, do the work, and you know leave it where it is. That's incredible. In I really do think we're gonna see like a different Aegon like uh, yeah, this season because uh, like it just ended with him being like king, so now I think it's gonna be like the wars gonna be. I mean, he's 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 crazy anyway. So put a crown on his head and give him the power, and we're all in a heap of trouble. If you oh. could describe Aegon with a song, with a song, with a song, yeah. What song could it be? Like uh, any song. Um. Flippy Floppy by Talking Heads. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Talking Heads is a great band. Yeah, great band. Um, <laughs> yeah, probably that. <yeah. laughs> I like it, I like it. And uh, talking about the, this incredible fandom that House of the Dragon has, how has it been for you being part of uh, House of the Dragon and, and all this fandom that is always expecting to to support you guys and, and love this, this show? Yeah, no, it's brilliant. It's, um, it's very humbling to be a part of something that people care about so much. Uh, there's there's a great responsibility there as well to, to to provide and to come up with the goods. I know there's a lot of eyes on this now, and yes. um, we are riding on the shoulders of giants with Game of Thrones, and we're very grateful for all the hard work that those guys put in to make it such a success. And yeah, we we just kind of carry the torch now into into our into our story. I'm really really grateful, um, as are all the cast, for the love and support that people show, and also how much people care. That's just so nice. It's, um, it makes it makes us feel like we're, do, we're we're doing something worth doing, and it's uh, you know it matters, you know, because yeah, it matters to us as well. It's, it's it's incredible. I don't know if you do this or not, but I went to Reddit like yesterday just just to see what was the conversation. What's what's what? What's Reddit, that? you know Reddit? Reddit. No, what's Reddit? It's uh, it's like a web page. All right. Where everyone like talks about uh, certain topics, uh. and I was reading about House of the Dragon, and everyone was like, "Hey, it's a." Uh, the trailer that it's incredible like how, uh, how 
it's, it, the show has built this this incredible uh, conversation and right and fandom. And uh, just for all your Mexican fans, like, uh, how's Mexico been treating you? Have, have you tried something of food or something? Like I that? love I love Mexico, man. I've only been here two days, and so far I'm completely in love with the place. I think I could probably live here. Um, I love the colors. I love the vibrance. I love the the attitude to life and um, art. And I oh, did the Frida Kahlo Museum yesterday, oh, nice. and that was that was phenomenal. I really, really enjoyed that. Um, I tried worms, uh, grasshoppers, uh, ant eggs, stuff that we'd never go anywhere near <laughs> in the UK. Um, but uh, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm blown away by the place, and, and the people are also lovely as well. I'm very very fond of it. You think Egan will like the worms in the, the box? Yeah, I, I think he'd try them, and if he didn't like them, he'd make he'd make everyone else eat them. I'd like leave them in the people's beds and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> well, perfect. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. Pleasure. Nice, nice to meet you. you.